Hi there. Today I've got some stamps um, that I had a couple of weeks ago. I think it was before I went on holiday. And there were some stamps from Globeland. Um, I will leave the link down below and I will put the links uh, to the actual stamps. So I did say I would come back and have a play because I was quite excited about them. So, hello, thanks for joining me today. My name's Tanya and I'm from Tatty Treasures. If you're new, then welcome aboard. It's always nice to have new people joining us. And if you are a returning subscriber, then hello there. Um, it's always nice to see you back. Thank you for spending uh, some of your precious day uh, with me. So let's start <coughs> and we shall light the candle. And we'll place that there, beautiful. And today's date, well the date when you'll see this video is the 16th of June. You grow up the day you f have your first real laugh at yourself. <laughs> and <laughs> that was so corny that I laughed after that, but I couldn't, I couldn't help it. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to agree with that. And I sat thinking about it for a minute, about, you know, and I don't know if everybody's the same, but, you know, when you're a teenager, um, like when you're a child and, and a teenager, I think, um, you know, when you do something silly or say something silly, you're just consumed with embarrassment, aren't you? Um, and as you get older um, and, and you've seen everything, you know, you've seen people fall over and skid in the ice and trip and say daft things and, you know, all kinds. I mean, I went to work once in my slippers. <laughs> Oh dear, and you know, and I think you know the more you see uh, other people <laughs> do crazy things, um, you do start and and laugh at yourself, and um, yeah, it, you know, we're we're quite funny, aren't we? I mean, I do some absolutely ridiculous things, um, and if somebody else had laughed at me at some point. I would have felt absolutely mortified. But, you know, most of our jokes at home are about how, uh, how daft I am. And, and I'm fine with that because um, we all have a, a good old laugh. So that's um, that's that. Gosh, I could just sit here and, and waffle. So these are the stamps that I'm going to um, play with. I did have some other ones, but um, these are the ones that I was most excited about. <clears throat> And they, you know, go in with the botanical um, theme. So <clears throat> I want to try and mix some of these in in the background um, a little bit. So I'm thinking, you know, that one would look nice plonked in there behind. And maybe... Oh, well, I was going <laughs> to go like that to get that one what i've just i was thinking oh that's a nice one yeah it is because you've just picked it anyway um let's have this one very similar uh to each other so i'm thinking of getting those behind uh those um just checking if my glasses are clean because i feel like i'm uh straining straining my eyes now i don't know how i'm gonna do that obviously i'm using uh the platform I'm not a stamper. I know people who have, you know, done cards and things like that. You're great at layering um, these kinds of things. Um, yeah, I'm not. You know, I've got all on uh, stamping. So, um, so I'm thinking if I kind of... Let's put my paper where I'm going to have it. All I've done is I've got the Edith Holden um, Nature Notes because um, the writing isn't as fancy on that one. Um, it's still nice, but it, you know, it's not that swirly hand uh, writing. This is a, um, oh gosh, I've just dropped that one. Let me, <clears throat> Right, let's um get that something like straight. Oh, 
my alarm's just gone off to take my tablets. Okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Um, right, so if that was there, like so, we'd be able to see that. I would want that. This is confusing. I can't even see it. Let's take some of these layers off. Yeah, I think that would work. Um, and then this one would be, yeah, about at the at the edge. Maybe some a lot. No, that one wants to come a bit more to the side. Okay. So let's get, get those. I'm just going to pause a minute, take my tablets, and I'm going to wipe my glasses. Okay, so if I lift this up, and I'm going to use the green stays on, on and this. Now, I've not stamped these before, so they might want a, a, couple, of, <coughs> a couple of go as well. We'll see. Yeah, that's super. So, if I... Do you think that will still be wet? I'm just thinking if I lay the next one on top, because I want to do um, a couple the same. And I'm just thinking instead of lining it all back up again. Let's do, do another one. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So that's uh, those. So let me just get my uh, wipes out. Just give those those a wipe. <clears throat> okay, and then if I place this one like so yeah i did get that a bit a couple of go oh yeah that'd be nice that is right on the end but that's fine so let's move that to there and that to there okay oh wrong way around right so let's pick that up and this time i'm going to use the brown stays on because what I'm hoping to do is uh, use my watercolours um, that I bought and, um, and add some, some more colour. So, eek, that'll be exciting. So I thought if I use the, the stays on, I think that'll be okay, um, you know, to use something uh, wet around it. Look how we are with that. 
it's not come out very good. Oh, and now I'm not going to know if it's lined up or not. I think so. Again, I've not stamped, <coughs> stamped this one before, so might take a couple of a couple of goes. Oops, I don't say I don't know what that was. Okay, let's try that again. that side I'm going to say it has got a lot of um, details to it so try that I'm wondering if having those underneath isn't actually doing it um, any good. So I think I'm going to leave that one uh, like that. I don't have to paint. I'm obviously not going to paint all of them. Um, so let's move <coughs> that one out of the way. Now. Yeah, that would work. Excuse me. Right, come on. Should I do that? I never think that this must not do your ink pad any good, but I see a lot of people um, doing it. But yeah, it's definitely making the ink go on more. But yeah, I think it's damaged your damage your pad. Okay. I mean it won't be helping because it's obviously got a lot of detail and then on top of the the text um, as well it's probably not uh, the best thing but I just thought well I'll use a book page mind you that might be keeping it from not pressing down Hmm. Yeah, and now it's totally moved. Oh gosh, and that's very blurry. Is it? I don't know if it's my glasses or me. But I love that. Hmm. I want it to work. Where that is. 
thinking, gosh, get on with it. I might pause it in a minute and just have a mess about. Um, so. Right. Let's rub this on. Drink my coffee while I am. No, it's just just not happening. Right, I shall be back in a tick. Okay, <clears throat> I think it was a combination of the paper and uh, the ink so i've just done it in the archival and that's come out a lot better so i'm wondering if this paper is quite porous or something so yeah sometimes if 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 your stamps aren't you know doing it stamping out you think they should do um just have a mess about with your paper and and your ink and change change things right I <laughs> see my shoulders and that are killing <laughs> didn't realize it was going to be a strenuous uh job right oh again yeah on camera off camera sorry it um came out okay i think it's done it Right. So, um, and if it's moved slightly, I'll have that awful blurred uh, look. Last game. Come on, please don't have moved. I have uh, measured it up at the side so it shouldn't. Ah, oh, that's it. Oh, thank goodness for that. So it is still a little bit patchy there, but that's uh, that's fine. I mean, I like it just uh, with those two green uh, trees. So, oh, oh, and I did. <coughs> did that one as well that was with the grey stays on not a lot of difference colour colour wise right just find a, a bell on my floor right so that's that okay so I'm going to try the same paper again with a different uh, stamp and I'm going to try um, the grey stays on just looks like a, a mess oh honestly I am a wallet what did we say about laughing at ourselves you know <laughs> Pointing out, and I thought that's never. 
Oh my goodness. Right, again, come on. You know, I had high hopes for this session. I've been looking forward to <laughs> looking forward to it. Oh dear me. Right, come on. Let's um try again. So yes, um definite rule is get your stamp uh, the correct way. I do think that um that helps. <laughs> Right, let's give that another, another go. I think that's stamped lovely. So that was okay on there. So that's that one. Let's do another one and then that'll just use these papers up that I'd uh, ripped up for it. Okay, okay. Now I have um ordered some uh watercolour paper from uh a bunjo. So when that arrives, I will um, have another go because I obviously don't know um, how the watercolours will go. Yeah, they're lovely. So that's enough stamping because um, I've had enough. Just totally had enough. I'm going to say I find stamping really hard, hard work. Um, let's just put those out of the, out of the way. Okay, these smaller ones I am going to um, keep. I'm just going to take that part off. So that's those. I think I'll try to paint on uh, plain paper. I think I'll leave these um, like this. Just thinking what, what I can do with that. Oh no! It does feel, to be honest, Oof, like like one of them days today it um yeah right gonna keep um this text because I am doing um a plain um, collage <coughs> board next week um, text one so that'll come in come in handy right let's go Oop. go round them Into a 
on that one. I've got the same one that stuck down, that'll be, that'll be fine. And then these bigger ones, I think, are more journal cards, aren't they? if I can grab some um, chocolate brown um, card. Mind you, I don't need a card. I know I've got some 12 by 12 at the side of me. Let me see. Um, I'm going to move that candle because I'm having a oxidaisy type day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of them days, you know, where everything you touch, you, touch, you drop and um, all the rest of it. I think my mind is somewhere else. I just can't work out um, where I've gone. Ooh, I like that. I'll use that for one. That's, um, or two. <laughs> This is only um, light paper. It's the Dine Cuts with a View um, Helium Stack. I think that'll probably, probably do. Yeah, okay, I'll just pop that on the, on the floor. Right. I'm going to turn around to get um, a rough, a rough edge. Okay, so this will do. Two, wouldn't it? Yeah. So let me rip down it. Okay. I'm gonna put something, <coughs> something else on, but that's just the. Yeah, I like those. So I'm going to make those into uh, journal cards. Put that in my scraps. And then I've got this single. But I'm going to do them the same. Well, this is going to be bigger. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's straight or not. I'll do for that. Pop that in my scraps. And then, oh, that looks yummy. Gonna do this a bit bigger. So I think I'm gonna make it into um, a gusseted uh, pocket. Folded. Yeah, if I fold that in half, there'll still be enough for, for both of them. Right, so that's for those. Okay, let's move that out of uh, the way. Um, I'm going to pause why I ink around uh, these and actually think what I'm going to what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to go through those. Um, 
speciality papers that I had from uh, Tapeology. And thank you to those of you who have uh, shot with Tapeology and have used my uh, code. And you can find the code. I'm going to put these blue things <coughs> in the bottom until um, and greys. Um, until I'm doing those colours. Um, yes, it, it's in, in the description. There is a coupon code. I think it's uh, a nice 15%. Uh, percent. So they're green. Oh, they're the same. That's great. White. Another grey. Look at that. Blue, yeah, I'm like, I am liking that one, so I'm gonna keep that green one out. They're the same, aren't they? Keep that where the grey is. Cream. Okay, that'll make it easier than my next time I. I dip into it. That's a nice green. Oh, that's nice. So that's great. Love that one. Blue, blue, blue. So that's a more a brown then. Gonna go. I'm gonna save that because I think that would be nice for um, a topper um, when I do do the cover or covers. Right, so that's them in better order. And they're the fabrics uh, that I got. Okay, so. I think it would be nice to have this, uh, the one underneath, um, straighter, you know, instead of, oh, instead of torn. Didn't mean to get two sheets out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. in my scraps I don't want to um, <laughs> waste any any of it because um, yeah this is I love that one you know I'm saying the colour's beautiful and the texture right and then I think I don't know if to put some we could go with uh, the tea bags again or we could go um, with some uh, you know muslin type um, material or oh, we've got that netting haven't we which I do do really like Let's see make sure that's not too big that's a little bit which way does it go okay one on here <coughs> oh, Tommy. I think I might have a have a later <coughs> after um 
after this. I think I'm tired of them. Um, what I thought, and I think, you know, the key dropping things and stuff is probably, it's probably that. But yeah, I'm going to say my eyes really aren't very good today, and that normally is when I'm really tired. So, yeah, I like, I like that. Um, I'm going to put those back in my tin, but I'm not going to save those. They are a bit too, too piddly. Um, but I'm going to save <laughs> oh dear. Um, I'm going to save uh, those bits. Okay, why I've got the chopper out, I'm going to chop these uh, ready. I'm not um, going to attempt to uh, paint them today why I'm, why I'm not grey yet. <laughs> I think it would be a bit of a, a bit of a mistake. But yeah, that tin had just uh, all, all fell down with all the papers and material in it. Okay. So that will do that one. I'll set, I'm going to save this one because I have bought um, some of them fine uh, liners. <coughs> so I might be able to fill in. Um, some of that. I mean, I don't mind some of it missing, but um, yeah, like this bit, I think I'd like to fill fill that in. So I will save that one. And I've got these two. Oh, I can just start to smell that candle now. It's um, red currant juicy apple and vanilla and grapefruit it's very nice it's from from my mum's I'm gonna say she's had it she's had it on a fireplace quite a few few years but um, yeah I'm not into not burning candles I think life's too short not to not to burn your candle right let's get rid of those bits so that's that um how long have we been on yeah so i'll save the pockets uh for another time they might come up in tomorrow's um finish it friday actually so let's um let's do these so i don't feel like i need to ink that one but i'd like to ink these two. It's got a nice, nice feel. It's nice to have, um, you know, different feeling paper and obviously different locks, but um, yeah, mainly different feelings, different textures. So I think that needs something darker than than that. That'd probably be okay with that one. And then I'll back these um, in my own time and I'll sew, sew around them. So I'm gonna get that first layer um, stuck down. I think I'll have that across there. 
oh, what glue do I want to use? I'm going to use fabric tag, but what I'm going to do is glue it to the back of here um, so you can't see see the shiny um, ness. So if you're having one of these days to just persevere, you know, I think sometimes it's it's easy to, um, you know, think, oh, everything's against me today. I can't do, you know, anything right. And it's just one of those, one of those days. And I think normally it comes down to when you're, too tired or if if you've got things um things on your mind um and obviously you know your mind's busy doing mind things so everything you're doing it's not it's not actually paying attention uh to or it might be that you're too tired that you've you know you've got no no function which is a lot for me um you know with the fibromyalgia and uh, fatigue because um, I remember you know a couple of years after being diagnosed going to the opticians and saying you know how bad my eyes have got over the last few years and she said you know when um, you, you've not got a lot of energy in that um, I don't know if it's your brain I don't know how she explained it but she said you know it, it does go from from your sight um, because your body's taking, you know, all the energy from from everywhere um, to give you some energy. So, yeah, that can be. Now, I think I'm going to try these um, these Nouveau drops. So, shall I just do a couple down down the side? Now, thinking if I'm going to sew round, I would probably it'd be best to go on this. really cool they do really look like little gems that you've uh, put down yeah so i think once it's been been sewn around and obviously backed uh, that will look really nice so that's that one so even though it was chaotic when i was making it you know they've turned out you, you just have to think oh what can i what can i do with um you know what i've got um, sometimes things don't, um, you know, go go the way that that you think they're going to go. It's like, oh, I can still use it, and I can still, and it, you know, if you hadn't been watching, and I'd have perhaps, you know, when this is done, show. Oh, look at me. <laughs> um, and if I'd have just shown you, you would have been like, oh, that's wonderful. And you wouldn't have known um, the struggle that, that I'd had. I wonder how long they take to, to dry because, like I said, I've never had, had any before. So I think this lace would be really pretty. And I'll probably do the same kind of thing. I do like that down one side and partly um, down another. So... Um, I'm going exactly, oh no I'm not, I'm going opposite to what I did last time, I'm going to say I'm going exactly the same um, way. So yeah, I don't know how me and um, Nouveau drops will get on them because um, I can be a little bit impatient with things uh, drying. So it's like right I want to get on to the next thing you know I want to put it away or put it you know on my sewing pile ready to sew 
Um, and I forget that things are still wet. And it's like most things that we use, they do seem to, I'm going to put that down that side, they do seem to dry like, you know, really, really quick. So I don't think we that used to uh, waiting for, for things. That's that, and then we'll pop that onto there. Yeah, I like that. It's a daisy. I don't know why I'm using this glue, because I also don't need to now, but yeah, I'll change over. Okay, okay. Let's uh, use the, the clout. So I think I'm going to have those drops across here. dip back into it to make it a bit bigger yeah a little bit and then they like swell don't they a little bit right I need to put that separately then from the other one while the other one tries I'm going to touch uh, this one back up because obviously it um, squashed squashed them down Okay, still a bit wonky, but it's fine. Okay, it just gives it a little bit more, a little bit more colour. Right, let's have a look at this one. So, oh, look at that. Love it. And say so I probably want something a bit paler. That goes with that, doesn't it? So. This in half. This is a beautiful colour. Not sure uh, where I got this from. I, I do think somebody uh, sent it, sent it me, and it's beautiful. Right, where's that? That one down there, let's pull it down a bit. And uh, that one. That. Okay, and that's that. So yeah, as soon as, oh no, I'm not, I was going to say, as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to back them, but I'm not, I'm going to leave them to, them pearl things to, to dry. Lovely. 
actually and I'm gonna have those drops there but I'm gonna try uh, the glittery uh, chocolate ones I think called chocolate fondue That's remarkable are the um like going to something quite solid uh looking. Okay, so that's them. I must learn to put a bit more space in between, but um yeah, I think I'll get used to them. So yeah, very um handy things to have. So they're called crystal drops and they're called glitter drops, and I I have got um a pretty pretty blue one as well. That's crystal drops. Hmm. Right, I'm going. Um, so, see you tomorrow. Hopefully, um, <laughs> this will have passed. And, um, yeah, we'll be back to back to normal. But, you know, I think um, if you watch me all the time and stuff, if it was a one-off video and you've just stumbled across me, you'll probably think, oh, my goodness. But, you know, I think if you watch every day, I think it's good. You know, we d we don't all have fabulous days and things do go wrong and, you know, things fall on the floor and you have to crawl around and pick them up and, you know, it, it's not just, it's not just me, it's not just you, it's, you know, it happens and I think it happens on, you know, the times where you're not feeling 100% uh, and it can make you just feel a little bit like oh why me what have I done to deserve it but um yeah you, you are best to try not to feed into that and just think you know what do I need um what will what will make me you know feel feel better or to to move past so I'm gonna put that back with those materials so <clears throat> so i know where they are right i'm going um so we did make you know some well we made three cars <laughs> but we've done stamping and we've obviously you know these are for future um things so yeah we've we've not done bad right i'm going be off with you <laughs> see you soon bye